Hello, my name is Stephanie Agnew. I'm with the Max South Digital Media Center at Mississippi State University Libraries. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a conference poster using InDesign. Let's get started. Open InDesign. Click Create New. Change your unit of measurement to inches from PICUS. Input the width and the height that's needed for your poster. Change your columns to 3 for easy layout. Change your margins to 0.25 inches all the way around for ample room at the edges and click Create. Now you have a canvas divided into three columns which will aid in easy layout. To begin, we will go in and begin by drawing a text box at the top. This text box will span across the three panels. You will, you will choose the font size as well as the font type. We're going to center our text inside our text box. And you will begin typing the title of your poster. You will then change your point size to make it smaller than the heading. And now you will type in your name and the university or the company that you represent. The point size used here is 72 points for the title and 48 points for Arthur and the university. With the title text box selected, choose the Object tab and Text Frame Options. Under Vertical Justification, go to Align, choose Center, and OK. This step centers your text vertically in the text box. Now you will use swatches to create MSU's maroon. Double click or right click on any of the colors and choose duplicate swatch. Double click on that swatch. Go to color mode and choose Pantone solid coated. In the blank box next to Pantone you will key in the number 505. Select that and click OK. You will toggle from the stroke color to the fill color and now your text box is filled with the MSU maroon. To add a nice contrast, select your text and choose white as the color for your text. You want to use At this point, you will now create headers for your content. You'll start by dragging out a text box. You'll choose your point size and your font. We're going to use a 36 to 38 point font. You will type the word abstract. I'm going to make sure that that is bolded. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so that you can see closer. You'll double click and bold that text. We're going to go and select our text box. And at this point we're going to use we're going to use our swatches to duplicate and create a new swatch. We'll use the Mississippi State University gray. It again is a Pantone solid coated. In the Pantone box, you will key in 414. Click on that color. Go to. You will change the font color to white. We will select the text box. And we will apply the gray color by toggling the stroke color and the fill color. And then apply the 414. Now you will go up to Object, Text Frame Options, 
vertical justification align at the center and click OK. We'll zoom in. You can go up to your selection tool and resize your box if you want it to go out just a little bit or maybe shrink the height of it a little bit when you have it the size that you would like. You can hold down the Alt key and drag. And as you're holding down Alt and dragging, you are making multiple text boxes that you can now go in and change to the headers that you will be using throughout your poster. Depending on the headings that you will need, you will go in and change as needed. Here we're going to type materials and methods. You will continue to select all the other headings and change those to fit the content that you are presenting. You now can drag your text boxes over to different locations on the poster. These don't have to be the final resting place. We'll begin adding the content that goes under each heading. And Use your type tool to draw a new text box that will hold the content for the information regarding your abstract. You want to make sure that you select the correct font size, which for this For this, we will choose a 24 to 28 point font. We'll also uncheck hyphenate so that our paragraph will not be automatically hyphenated. We're going to copy our heading for the next area. Change the name. And again, you will add content for this area. Create your text box. Either type or import your information. With each text box, you will edit the font size. And again, for then for this area, we're going to use 24. To 28 points. To align your objects, you will go to Window, Object and Layout, Align, and then choose the alignment you need, whether it's left, center, right. We'll use left here. You'll select the objects that you need to be aligned, and then it will align those objects. To add images or charts, you will use the Rectangle Frame tool and draw a rectangle wherever you need your content to go. You will go to File, Place, locate your image or your graph, select, select it, choose Open, right click your image, choose Fitting, and Fill Frame Proportionately. You also want to go and choose Text Wrap so that your text wraps around your image. You can use your magnifying tool to zoom in. Now you will draw a text box in order to label your images. Usually the point size for this is 18 points, 14 to 18 points. Once you've typed in your information, you can resize your text box. And what we'll do now is you'll drag your text box by selecting the selection tool and drag your text box over under your image. You'll notice that you need to also do a text wrap. So go up and select text wrap. And you have to resize your text box to be the width of your image so that it wraps all the text below the image. As we fast forward, you will see an almost completed poster achieved by following the steps done in the first panel. Let's now add contact information and the MSU logo. 
You will draw a text box and set the font size at 14 to 18 points. Include information you want others to have about you. In addition to your name, you may want to include your department, your email address, a website if you have one, and a phone number. You will now draw a frame holder to hold the MSU logo. Go to File Place, locate where you have the image saved. You can do a fitting by right clicking on your image. You can do fit frame proportionately or fill content proportionately. And that will determine the sizing of your image. If we go to view at the top, you can see your poster in its entirety. Here is some additional information. MSU and departmental logos can be found on the Office of Public Affairs website. The link is listed below. Also, when you're ready for submission, save your file first as an InDesign file. For print submissions, save as either a JPEG or a PDF. Thank you for joining me for conference poster design using Adobe InDesign. If you have questions, please feel free to contact me at my email address, sagnew at library.msstate.edu.